Yo, 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 what is up, Honkai Star Rail fam? Today we're going to be going over what are Silver Wolf's best light cones in Honkai Star Rail. Now you're probably thinking her five star light cone, Innocent Rain, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Incessant Rain, whatever, from her banner right now, is the best light cone for her. And I tell you what, it would be if you could super in position five it. If you want to whale, that's fine. That's the best light cone. If you don't want to whale, we currently have an event going on right now where we can get this free light cone which was literally made for her. Obviously you can use it on other Nihili characters down the road, probably right now. This light cone was made and born and bred for Silver Wolf in the best possible way. Remember, this is an event light cone. And if you know about Genshin Impact, you can always super in position slash refine level five for free every event light cone slash weapon that comes out in these Honkai games, at least from Genshin onwards. I don't know much about Honkai Impact third. I'm not gonna get into that because I don't know much about it. I'm not knowledgeable anyway. The reason this is the best light cone, as I just mentioned, is because of the super in position five that we can get for free, which allows us to raise Silver Wolf's effect hit rate defaultly by a whopping 40% as long as this light cone is equipped. The reason that is important is because if you know from my last Silver Wolf video, the main thing you're gonna be building on her is effect hit rate. So you can hit all them debuffs at a consistent rate. You wanna hit all them debuffs at a consistent rate. And this giving you that effect hit rate of 40%, which is a man, that's a whopping trying to, because you got to get a lot of that percentage from your relics, but getting 40% for free off a light cone means you can build a little bit less depending on, you know, if you're lucky with your, your stat bonuses and your substats, you can potentially build a little bit less towards the energy, uh, the, sorry, the effect hit rate and build more into her DPS stats. And what that does is this light, light cone, a super position five allows you to defaultly without silver wolf's e2 lean into her as a dps a little bit more which is good because we know she has good damage in general especially if you can get the right effect hit rate off of her she has a decent damage on top of that when the wearer attacks defense reduce enemies regenerates eight energy literally by her existing they're going to lose defense we know this because we went over this again in the last video i'm not going to touch up too much on it but this is objectively speaking especially because of the free imposition five her best light cone so we'll be putting this light cone into the s tier this is an s tier light cone now obviously the next best light cone for her will then be her five star banner light cone now you're probably wondering why isn't it the best now yes it's nice right it's got this second we're going to go into the secondary effect first which is when the wearer deals damage to an enemy that currently has three or more debuffs which is always going to be a thing as well quite often thanks to silver wolf existing her crit rate will increase by 12 percent after the wearer uses their basic attack skill or ultimate there is a 100 percent base chance to implant ether code on a random hit target that does not yet have it targets with ether code receive 12 percent increased damage for one term now, that's cool because again all your defense debuffs and effects type resist all type you know resistance is low element type resist that's cool and that's nice and the crit rate's nice and the 24 percent effect hit rate is really good as well again if this is like your only option but literally there's an event up right now that we can all do which is very easy if i'm being honest with you a very easy event to get this super imposition five all you have to do is do the event and it's very simple to get through and the reason it outclasses this, the main reason is because look, you have to in position five this light cone to increase her effect hit rate by 40% by five as well. You have to get it super in position five. And depending on your luck and your money, <laughs> uh, you don't really, there's a like very low chance of you getting a super in position five, right? I can't speak English today. Super in position five. Let's just start saying refinement like Genshin because this is long as hell. To get this refinement five, you have to put a whole lot more work in from your money and your luck to get that 40% effect hit rate, which is the most important thing for Silver Wolf, because yeah, oh cool, I'm gonna get this extra ether cold buff with 100% base chance, that's cool. But if you haven't got all your other buffs lined up because you don't have enough effect hit rate, it doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter. So this is the most important and best light cone for her, just strictly speaking, 100% S tier, because it's a free whopping 40% effect hit rate and you're guaranteed to get your ult back as quickly as possible so you can keep spamming it and it's got good alt damage multiplier percentage on it and it, this this is just this is literally not even an argument guys it's i don't care what anyone says this is not an argument this is objectively speaking her best light cone in the game and with this one incessant rain would be her second best and because it's her second best and it's still i'm not saying it's trash that, yo let me put that out there i'm not saying this light cone is trash this light cone is absolutely not trash this light cone is fire as hell man but guess what it doesn't beat our free refinement five 
event light comm. So because of that, it will be S tier, 100%. It will be S tier because it's literally her next best light. These are like her best light comps. But because we can in position five this, this is great. But we also know that depending on reruns and whatever, how events work in this game, we don't know if everyone will always be able to in position five this. Now with the latest update, we do know that we can replay old events, but I don't know if replaying the event will still grant you this light cone. Like we have no idea. I don't believe that's been confirmed. If it has, please let me know down below. But for people who may not be able to get this in future and be late players to the game or just not be able to play right now during this event, this will be their best option, obviously. So yes, this is the best light cone in the game right now. And this is the second best, 100% equally just as good. This one a little bit bumped up for that free refinement five. While we are here, we're gonna talk about the next set of five-star light cones. I don't know why I said light cones. There's only one of the five-star light cone in the game right now for Nihility characters. And that is in the name of the world, increases the wearer's damage to debuffed enemies by 24%. That's pretty good. Extra damage and you're always gonna have debuffs. When the wearer uses their skill, the effect hit rate for this attack increases by 18% and attack increases by 24%. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Obviously in position five, it's even better, but because it's a five star, we're not really gonna look at the in position five. We're just gonna look at the in position one. And objectively speaking, that's already pretty good. She gets a little bit of extra damage on debuffed enemies, which they're always gonna be debuffed by Silver Wolf's existence alone from weakness breaking. And then on top of that, you have the effect hit rate being increased for all of your attacks by 18%, which is a nice little bonus on top of whatever effect hit rate you currently have on your character. And then attack increase to 24%, which is that, that's pretty good. We're gonna put that straight in the A tier. 100% we're going to put that straight in the A tier because we already know, objectively speaking, these are her best two light cones in the game. No argument, no question. Now for the four stars, I'm going to get this out of the way. For Marta, increases the break effect dealt by the wearer by 16%. Increases her damage to enemies afflicted with shock or wind shear by 16%. This also applies to Dot. We're going to put this quite low on the tier list only because, again, as that break effect is nice, 100%. Oh, it's Silver Wolf, you're going to be breaking a lot. But that shock or wind is useless unless you run it on a specific team that can apply that shock or wind. You see what I'm saying? Situational. Not that this, I'm not saying this light comes trash. We're specifically talking about Silver Wolf. The break effect is nice. But because of the shock and the wind being just a useless extra little thing, specifically for Silver Wolf, I'm going to put this into the B tier. And again, it's not a bad light cone. It's just compared to what we've had so far, it's nowhere near as good, right? The next one, we're going to go with Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat. There's the boy Luca. I can't wait for this man. I'm excited for this man. Hopefully, this is really good for him because I own this and I would love to use it on him when he comes out. Anyway, when the wearer hits an enemy and if the hit enemy is not already ensnared, then there's a 60% base chance to ensnare the hit enemy. Ensnared enemy's defense decreases by 12% for one turn. That's pretty good. 60%, that's not bad at all. And it's an extra defense debuff on top of the two defense debuffs that she already applies. That's a third defense debuff, which is just... That's good for your whole team. That enables your whole team right there. Instead of a debuff, uh, instead of a buff for her, it's a buff for your whole team. So you know what? We're throwing that into the A tier with the Welt one. We're 100% throwing that into the A tier. Good night and sleep well. For every debuff the target enemy has, the damage dealt by the wearer increases by 12%, stacking up to three times. This effect also applies to Dot. Now this is pretty good because this, they're always gonna have debuffs. They're always gonna have debuffs, uh, at least a maximum of three or a minimum of three with Silver Wolf's existence. So this is pretty good indeed. Especially that 12%, well that's 12, 24, 32, it's 32 of free damage on your Silver Wolf. But again, depending on how you built her, if she's not got too much damage on her already, it's a nice little like, you know, bonus, but it's not exactly needed, if that makes sense. Like Silver Wolf is, doesn't need that extra DPS, but it's definitely not a terrible option. We're gonna also put that into the B tier. Now we're coming up to the last two four stars here. Eyes of Prey, this is Sampo's one, I believe. Increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 20% and increases dot by 24%. That's pretty good. Even though the secondary one is dot and, well, she's quantum, right? Any, every character can inflict dot in the game. So that's not terrible because she's gonna get a lot of weakness breaks or enable a lot of weakness breaks. And if that's specifically for her dot, it's not the worst, it's not the best, but if that's for everyone on her team, that's pretty cool, but because it's paired up with this in wording, I'm pretty sure it just means for her. So the most important thing about this light cone is the first effect, that effect hit rate by 20%. Again, we, I don't know exactly how they're gonna do event rewards that have passed. So if you do not have access to this, and you do not have access to this or this, which gives you effect hit rate, this is not a bad one at all. Extra 20, flat 20% 20 effect hit rate. And if you end up getting lucky, you can hit that 40. 
eventually, which is pretty good. But that 20% is already really good off the bat. But because the secondary effect is, ah, I'm going to also put that in the B tier, 100%. But the effect hit rate is really good. So if there was like a separate ranking between these three, I would say the sample light cone 100% beats these two outright. Like I said, the break effect is nice. You're going to be getting a lot of breaks depending on weaknesses and stuff with this one. But that sample one is just, it's really good. It's really, really good. Now for the final four star, this is the battle pass light cone. A discourse in arms. No, uh, we will meet again. I was reading the wrong part. After the wearer uses, you know what? Can I just say, I appreciate this light cone so much more after doing the uh, latest event. This light cone is a the artwork. I really appreciate it so much more than like the meaning. Anyway, after the wearer uses basic attack or skill, deals additional damage equal to 48% of the wearer's attack to a random enemy that has been attacked. That's okay. Again, it's more like damage based. And with Silver Wolf, it really does depend on your rolls and your relics. And whether you have an E2, that E2 is so detrimental. Um, how you're actually going to build her. You know what I'm saying? Like if you can get some decent DPS on her, this is not terrible at all, especially because it's a battle pass one. So eventually you'll be able to in position five it. But with it being a damage based light cone, I don't know, man, I'm kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a bit iffy on it. And especially cause it's paid to play. Cause it's well, not paid to play, but you know what I mean? It's a paid for light cone. We're gonna throw that into the C tier, not because it's bad, but because it's damage based and Silver Wolf is all about uh, effect hit rate over anything else, in my opinion. Now for the last ones, we're gonna do the three stars. Let's have a look what we got. At the start of the battle, the wearer's effect hit rate increases by 20% for three turns. That's good. That is good. You'll get through your matches a lot quicker. I'm just gonna compare it to the other three stars before we tier them, but that is actually already really good because again, it's effect hit rate. It's the main stat we want for Silver Wolf. And it lasted for three turns. That's actually a long time because within those three turns you've already got a lot of your debuffs off especially if you got her ult because you have good energy recharge on your stuff yeah you know all that it's a pretty good it's a pretty good light cone we've got loop increases damage dealt from its wearer to slowed enemies by 24 percent useless depending on your team absolute where does she inflict slow useless after using skill the wearer's next basic attack deals additional damage equal to 60 percent of attack to the target enemy again a damage based light cone so i'm easily know where to rank all of these Void up in the B tier because of the effect hit rate. C, and this is absolutely useless for her because of the C doesn't apply slow. There's not a single instance where this girl applies slow. Like, <laughs> this is useless, especially being a three star two. Those substats, eh, they're okay. But yeah, and that is the Silver Wolf Light Cone tier list complete. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.